Hi Alex here, back in my basement. Tonight I want to go over drilling the holes in the perfect cast for the V3. So if you're making a NASA Sabre, this is the uh, steps you would take to drill the holes in the emitter and the neck. So the very first step is making sure this is all tight. You want to tighten it down. The second step is you take your straight edge and we're going to line that up with the center of the booster set screw. Okay, so we're going to line that up with the set screw. And now that's on in the center. We're going to take a Sharpie and draw two lines. One on the wind vane and one on the emitter. Okay. So now you should have two lines, one on the wind vane and one on the emitter. I don't know if you're able to see that. Next up, uh, we're going to take this apart and we're going to talk about the jigs. So I 3D printed some jigs here. Uh, one for the pommel, one for the wind vane, and one for the emitter. If you have a 3D printer, I have these on my Thingiverse free to download. So you can download these, print them out, and then follow these steps. If you don't have a 3D printer or you don't have a friend that has a 3D printer, I have a, another version on how to locate these holes. So stick around to the end, okay? It's simple. So on the 3D prints, there's this little ledge here, and I... Uh, Hit it with a sharpie so you can see a silver line there so that that line is going to be lined up with the sharpie mark that we just made with our straight edge so if you line that up on the line press it down you want to make sure you're on the line and then you take your sharpie and we color that in that's going to locate the hole in the neck for our 2.5 millimeter drill bit. So you're going to need to get a 2.5 millimeter drill bit and drill a hole right there in the wind vane. Okay, so we got the hole there. That 2.5 millimeter hole you can then tap with a 3 millimeter tap and install a set screw. That's on the actual V3 today. So again, real quick, this jig here. You line the indicator line up on the Sharpie line that we made with our straight edge, and that will locate the hole in the wind vane for us. The emitter, now, if you uh, remove the threads on the emitter and allow the emitter to spin like the real prop today, then you really don't need to worry about lining this all up. So if you are going to leave the threads and have this lock into place, what we need to do is you put your wind vane jig on, okay, lined up on the Sharpie line. We're going to put our emitter jig on loosely so it spins, okay. We're going to thread this on now. Boom, she's locked into place. I want to double check and make sure my wind vane jig is in the right place. She's in the right place. Now my emitter jig that spins, I'm going to line up with the 2.5 millimeter hole we just drilled. Line that up there like that, and if I push it up, that's going to give us, the. You make sure you push it up, that's going to give us the hole for the emitter. Okay, now unscrew that. I'm going to slide that off to reveal the hole. There's our hole there. You're going to drill a 4.2 millimeter hole there and tap it with a 5 millimeter tap. And you're all set. You're all, all set for locating the holes in the hilt. Now we got to locate the hole for the, the power wire in the pommel. So here is the uh, jig for that. The hole, you can see I already colored it in from earlier today. The hole you want to line up so it hugs, the edge of the hole hugs this edge of the pommel cube. And I hit it with a Sharpie here, so hopefully it shows better on screen. Right here like this, you can see that black line. So I want this hole, this edge here, to line up with it. So the edge of the circle is lined up with this. And that's fairly simple. You don't need a, a jig to, to do that. 
you just make sure you drill the hole so it's on this side of the edge of the pommel cube. Snap the jig on, call the circle in, remove the jig, and you got your location. There it is there. Maybe I can get this jig on here for you guys and see if I can show you how it's supposed to line up. Can you see it on there? So let's say you don't have a 3D printer, you don't have a friend that has a 3D printer. You can use these steps next, okay? No jigs, no problem. I just showed you how to drill the hole in the pommel by making sure the hole is on this edge of the valley of the pommel cube, okay? So we got that out of the way. Next, you do the same exact thing. We start off with the straight edge. We line that straight edge up with the center of the booster, the booster set screw, okay? And we make our sharpie lines. So we have our sharpie lines still on the upper part of the hilt. We're gonna cut a piece of tape, 21 millimeters long. So we're gonna take that 21 millimeter piece of tape and we're gonna stick it on this side of the line, bring it around, and that's gonna put us halfway on the hole for the wind vane. By eye, go halfway through the distance of the wind vane here, halfway, and just color it in, and that's how you locate the hole in the, the neck. Use a center punch, and then you can drill a 2.5 millimeter drill bit, and tap it for three millimeter. So that's simple, right? I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the emitter, except the emitter is gonna be 34 and a half millimeters. And we're gonna stick this piece of tape right here on this side of the line, the Sharpie line, fold it around, and boom, bingo, look. Right there, halfway on our circle again. So by eye, go halfway through the width of the tape, make your circle, right, mark it, hit it with a center punch, and then drill that hole at 4.2 millimeter, and tap it with a five millimeter tap, and you're all set, that's it. So again, the tape measurements are, for the wind vane, 21 millimeter, and for the emitter, 34 and a half millimeter. Done, we're all set. So there you go, the easiest way out is the pieces of tape. But if you wanna print these out, there's a link in the description below to my Thingiverse where you can download them and print them out. That's gonna wrap everything up. I wanna thank you all for watching, keep it out for the next video, and most importantly, be kind to one another. This is Hallowax, out.